Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be turning myself into Danielle Cohn to try and get TikTok famous. Yes, you heard it here first. I can't lie, probably not the best video idea I've ever had. However, we're still gonna do it because I've bought the wig now and it cost me 70 quid. Don't know really what provoked me to do this video. I think it was seeing everyone dress up in the Harvard t-shirt and I was like, mate, I'm gonna take this to the next level and let's make a video out of it. I also thought it could be a fun little Halloween outfit. Let's do it. So like, comment, subscribe and I need to dampen my beauty blender, but let's go, woohoo! So I'm going to apply some moisturizer. Yeah, this isn't a makeup tutorial. This is turning into Danielle Cohn. No one cares about what moisturizer you're using, Kirsty. Okay, my mirror's here, we know. I'm gonna be making it a little bit darker than I normally do just because I'm gonna be putting on a um, black wig. And like, I don't really want it to wash me out. I'm just gonna do the base how I normally would do it and then we can Danielle Cohn it up. I mean, to be fair, Danielle Cohn wears eyelashes, but I look nothing like Danielle Cohn. We're gonna try our best. I wonder if Danielle Cohn's done a makeup trail before because if she has, then I can follow it. Now there's way too easy for me. All the boys in my black like Sesame Street. Yeah, Danny back at it again. Diva on it. No boys allowed, I want it now. Yeah, I'm a diva like Marilyn Monroe. Okay, I'm just gonna powder it. I need to actually have a reference photo of Danielle Cohn up. Come on, my queen. Okay, fair enough. I'm just gonna keep that photo of Danielle Cohn up. If anyone wants to know what my reference photo is, here it is. Let's screenshot it. So normally I mix two powders together, but now I'm just taking one because we're turning into Danielle Cohn. Guys, I'm pregnant. Jokes. It was just a prank. Now I'm not gonna do this very in depth. I'm just gonna do like a Danielle Cohn, you know? Danny back at it again, you know, kind of vibe. I'm really making sense. I don't know what my idea behind this video was, but I thought it would be funny. So here I am trying to be amusing for you guys. Okay, next color. I feel like this is kind of Danielle Cohn-esque. It looks like she has a really light shade on her eyelid and then like really dark in the outer corner, just sort of like all up in there, you know? I don't want to do it like really unblended because I still, I can't be able to do my makeup twice in one day. To be honest. Okay, that looks fine, whatever. Um, okay, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and lashes and I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so that's done. I feel like this definitely does look different to the makeup that I normally do. Not normally this dark on the outer corner, but oh well. Um, I'm just gonna add like loads of bronzer because she seemed to have like a lot of it on. This is just on my 135 brush. I also want to like warm up my skin again because I don't want to be washed out by the black wig that's about to go on my head. How are you guys doing at the moment, you know? What do you guys think? Am I going to turn into Danielle Cohn? Is this going to be my new thing? You know, now it's Danielle Cohn, maybe we could do the rest of the Music Week kids. Like what about Jacob Sartorius? I forgot about the rest of them. Honestly, Danielle Cohn's the only one that matters. Truth. I don't usually make my under eyes this dark, but you know, I don't usually take this much of a light highlighter either, but I'm not feeling this one. What about you? Okay, that should be good enough. I'm gonna do my lipstick off of camera as always, but let's do the wig now. Okay, let's just tie this up and then I'm just gonna lay it flat against my head. This is gonna be harder because I do have like extensions in. I'm not trying to make this perfect either. I'm just trying to get it. I would braid my hair, but I can't with nails on. Probably need this to be flatter against my head. But you know what? We're just gonna go with it. I look great. I look like I'm going swimming. Take me swimming on the first date. This is what I'm gonna pull up like. This can't be a thing. How the f do I even get this on my head? I'm not gonna lie. I think I did this very badly. I'm gonna try take two because I don't think I did this that well. Round two. I hate wigs so much. I don't get people who wear wigs on like an everyday basis. I could never. Yeah, I need to cut the lace off the front of this. This is not it. How on earth am I supposed to f***ing put this shit on? Is what I want to know. I need to take these baby hairs out. Round f***ing 5,000. Where is even the head? Okay. Here's my head hole. Come on, beautiful Danielle Cohn wig. I have too much hair for this. I'm gonna leave my hair down. Sounds dumb. Probably is dumb. Let's try round 5,000. I'm a spack when it comes to hair. Right, I'm gonna do this and then get back with you guys. If I ever say that I wanna dye my hair brown, show me these photos of my hair black and um, I'll go back on it. It looks like a mop on, to be fair, it is just the wig. Like it doesn't fit on my head right and I cut the lace bad. And you know what? We're not looking like Danielle Cohn. And I cannot lie to you. My hairline's actually really like low. So it, I I hate wigs, basically. Right, right now my hairline's normally there, but if I put it there, it doesn't sit there. And it looks too low. I don't know, is that just me? Woohoo! I feel like I look like a widow more than anything. Is that just me? I don't know. Anyway, I can't lie to you guys. It has been a solid five hours since we filmed the first part 
part of the video because the first time I put the wig on I had a mental breakdown love that for us it genuinely like couldn't get it on yeah but now we are almost Danielle Cohn I got changed into like my Danielle-esque outfit I feel like I haven't got like the black trackies but it will do I'm gonna like pin Harvard onto this let's go do that now I'm gonna print it out cut it pin it let's do that come on one minute this wig is itchy I feel like I'm gonna try do the dance and the wig's just gonna get yeeted okay let's go I feel like when I squish my head like that it doesn't look as bad just don't look at yourself in the viewfinder and you'll be fine Kirsty. the moment of truth has come I literally searched Harvard logo Danielle Cohn and I found a t-shirt and then I cropped it like this is hardcore like artwork honestly sorry if the lighting's changing I'm also I'm using a ring light but there's also a window behind me so there's like natural lighting as well so if the sun goes behind a cloud it will still change the lighting a little bit this wig is a whole lot of itch also i couldn't find any safety pins so i'm just going to use normal pins and if i prick myself whilst doing the danielle cone dance then danielle cone stabbed me right there that actually wait that doesn't look half bad okay that's that's brilliant i actually love myself now i'm gonna try not to stab myself whilst doing this okay and then i'm gonna put one more at the bottom there guys i'm turning into a diy channel diy danielle cone halloween outfit just follow this oh no now the top one's come out ow i stabbed myself you danielle cone i know where it's going wrong the reason i'm trying to get it to come out the other side which is what is proving to be the most challenging is because i don't really want to stab myself whilst doing the danielle cone dance hey kirsty why don't you just Buy the Danielle Cohn jumper. I'm not that clever. Haha, -ha, I am that clever. I'm Danielle Cohn. Bitches, let's do this TikTok. I'm not being funny, but look at me right now. Okay, let's do this. I don't even know the dance. I need to find the iconic one. I need to duet. Oh my god, I love this. Okay, I need to watch it one more time. This is what's standing at my phone, so I can't actually move that. But I'm now watching the TikTok, learning the Danielle Cohn dance, you know. Okay, let's go. Let's do this thing. I swear to god this is gonna be the biggest flop of 2019 how does she go oh that like pops a hip bone i swear on my life that is so funny right we're doing it again i need it to be more zoomed in though okay my hair was covering the harvard logo guys i actually hate myself so much okay we need to go one more time i'm not doing it quite as danielle -y. i need to proper get into character okay if i mess this one up i mess this one up guys <laughs> So here's the final Danielle Cohn transformation. I'm gonna post one of those TikToks now. I look really pale in the like camera because of like the black hair. Yeah, I'm gonna post one of those TikToks now and we will see if I get TikTok famous for turning into Danielle Cohn. take this wig off because it's itching like a bitch oh i clipped it in didn't i imagine if my wig got yeeted whilst doing the danielle Cohn dance i braided my hair like pippi log stockings too you know what though this harvard thing doesn't look half bad i thought it would look really diy -y. but it actually looks decent right let's take this off and oh 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 it, it doesn't want to come off i'm gonna say danielle Cohn. oh there we go no longer danielle Cohn. i'm gonna post one of those tiktoks now i'm gonna report back to you guys to see if Danielle Cohen got me TikTok famous. Woohoo. Okay, just for like reference, right now on TikTok, I have 199.7K. So I'm almost at 200K. So let's see if this will take me over 200K. Okay, one minute. 